just a few days ago, I arrived to Lviv, uh, whereas my family from Washington, D.C. A week ago, uh, we were advocating in uh, Washington, uh, U.S. capital, for more weapons for Ukraine. And uh, here in Lviv, this morning, uh, when we heard this um, uh, missile attacks, uh, of course, we were um, uh, scary, and we started to contact our friends. And when we uh, were informed that uh, six people died and among them one child, so it's a heartbreaking uh, information. And we understand the strategy of Putin to destroy every place in Ukraine because of uh, his idea that Ukrainian nation, Ukrainian uh, country, uh, for uh, in Putin's and his regime mind, uh, it uh, doesn't exist. So this is a genocide. And uh, he, uh, uh, Putin and his armed forces, they are trying uh, to attack innocent uh, people, civilians, and they are deliberately attacking railway stations, maternity and children hospitals. And uh, many people from Mariupol, from Kherson region, from southern of Ukraine, they came to Western Ukraine uh, expecting that uh, Western Ukraine is safer place. So I think uh, our demand uh, to have an uh, airlift in Western Ukraine to protect cities like Lviv, uh, and be before we demanded, and it's still important issue, to close the sky, uh, no-fly zone, uh, and um, equipment, military anti-missile uh, system, anti-tank right. system, to help us to defend our nation, uh, children, uh, yeah. uh, our defenders from Russian brutal uh, and actually um, brutal war and uh, atrocities. Uh, you've seen pictures from Bucha, uh, from uh, um, uh, Mariupol, where still Ukrainians defending the city and even small child, which is now sitting in Azov, still plant in the bomb shelters because her mom, Alisa, it's her name, it's this four years old child because her mom is a medical volunteer. So this is why we call the whole world to help Ukraine to defend freedom and to stop a uh, genocidal regime of Putin. Um, Hannah, you mentioned there Mariupol. It was reported today that the city of Kremina in the Luhansk region was occupied by Russian forces. Um, how intensive is the fighting in the east of Ukraine and specifically in Mariupol? So I think after Putin failed with his blitzkrieg plan with Kyiv, then all his uh, attempts to uh, uh, occupy Kyiv within uh, several weeks also failed. And uh, we, are, uh, re we restored uh, um, con Ukrainian control in many cities, including uh, Sumer region, which is close to uh, Russian Federation, like small town, Trostianet and many others. So it seems uh, Putin already lost his battle and uh, Ukrainian armed forces proved that we are the strongest army in the world. And now Putin changed his tactics and he want uh, to uh, um, uh, focus in Eastern Ukraine and to also to siege uh, Ukrainian armed forces and with Mariupol. Uh, can you imagine that for 40, uh, 54 days Ukrainian defenders in Mariupol, they they are not surrendering. They are keep fighting. So this is why when we demand uh, fighter jets uh, to help us to defend them, and or, more than 100,000 civilians, they are suffer from hunger. Uh, um, kids are dying from dehydration. So this is uh, how we are praying to international community and international uh, organization like Red Cross to help us to evacuate uh, innocent civilians and actually to save uh, people in Mariupol, in Kherson region, and actually not to allow Putin to uh, continue mining of Black Sea region. Because you know that Ukraine is one of the uh, key exporter of food and for global chain uh, uh, supply. It's really important that Ukrainian farmers uh, use spring season to plant seeds because uh, people in Middle East, in North Africa, in Asia, they will be, will be suffering from hunger if Ukrainian farmers are not planting seeds. So, and also a lot of 
uh, tons, millions of tons of wheat are now blocked uh, in Odessa region. Um, uh, you talked earlier about some of the Putin strategies. It was reported today that uh, in Russia, reporting that Ukrainian forces are planning on shelling Orthodox churches during the Easter period. What do you make of that report? And is this uh, Russia setting up a pretext to uh, do something in Ukraine? Uh, Russians already destroyed more than 30 churches in Ukraine. And this is why we demand sanctions against Kirill, the leader of uh, Moscow Orthodox Church and uh, uh, all Russian uh, priest because they bless this war and even say that this is holy war against a uh, Ukrainian nation. So they are serving not to God, they are serving the evil. Uh, and this is why I think uh, um, we have to be uh, careful and prepare that Russians, uh, they will uh, deliberately attack churches knowing that for us uh, Easter is a very important uh, day and uh, many Ukrainians with families, with kids, they will be in churches. So this is the civilizational war when uh, uh, authoritarian regime of Putin, they are trying to destroy Ukrainian identity, Ukrainian culture, Ukrainian uh, religions, because we in Ukraine, we truly believe in God compared to Russian Moscow Orthodox Church when they are just praying to Putin and to Putin uh, killers, war crimes. Hannah Hopko, a former member of Ukrainian parliament and former head of the Committee on Foreign Affairs, joining us from Lviv. Thank you very much and stay safe. Thank you.